Hey everyone! Today I'm going to talk about important timelines in clinical research to help you ace the CCRP certification exam, so grab your notebooks and let's get started. First up, let's talk about Part 312 of the IND regulations. One crucial point is the 30-day notification rule. As a sponsor, you've got to notify the FDA within 30 days of adding a new investigator. That's right, 30 days. So mark those calendars. When it comes to protocol amendments and additional info, you can submit these every 30 days. But here's a pro tip. Try to group them together and submit them in one single batch. This keeps things streamlined and efficient. Now let's talk about IND safety reports. This is where things get a bit more urgent. If there's a potential serious risk, you've got to notify the FDA and all participating investigators as soon as possible, but no later than 15 calendar days. This is no joke. Quick action can make a huge difference here. For unexpected fatal or life-threatening adverse reactions, the timeline tightens up even more. You need to notify the FDA within seven calendar days of receiving the initial info. Speed is critical. Also, if an adverse event wasn't initially considered reportable, but later determined as such, make sure you report it within 15 days of that determination. Timeliness is key. Now, remember, just because you submit a safety report doesn't mean the drug caused the adverse event. You don't have to admit or deny anything. Moving on to the annual report. Within 60 days of your IND's anniversary date, you need to submit a progress report. This report includes a summary of the past year's clinical and non-clinical investigations, safety reports, subject outcomes, and much more. So, keep detailed records all year round to make this process smoother. You'll also need to describe your investigational plan for the coming year and submit any significant updates to the investigator's brochure. Don't forget to include any foreign marketing developments, like new approvals or withdrawals. And if you have any requests or comments for the FDA, this is the time to include them. And that wraps up part one of the key timelines you need to know for the CCRP exam. Catch you next time.